Bucky again here. I just want to shoot another continuation of our audio book here. We are talking about real estate investing and our company is Top Dollar Home Offer. What we do is we buy houses across Tulsa and we buy houses Tulsa for anybody out there that's saying, I need to sell my house fast, then we are a resource. You can call us at 918-212-5442. Remember, we buy houses Tulsa and we can help you with yours. We are continuating our reading of our real estate investment book. It's available to download on our website uh, for $7.97, or you can listen to it free on YouTube. We love YouTube and Google, so we often use free resources from them, such, such as the spreadsheets and Google Sheets and Google Docs, as well as YouTube, to get information out there in your hands and help you guys become smarter and better educated and fill in the gaps that you may not know about. So we are going to continue reading our book, How to Avoid Potential Investment Dangers. The thing you don't want to do is to get into an investment deal that turns out, doesn't turn out right, right? Or at least the way you thought. After all that work, sweat, tears, and finding a place, the last thing you need is a potential real estate nightmare. Caution. Be careful whose advice you're listening to. It doesn't matter. Do your own homework. Do, don't take anybody's word for it that this is a great deal. Ask and see if that person has greater wealth than you. If they're just a salesperson, don't trust them. Do your own homework. Figure out if it's a good deal for you or if not, because Everybody's situation is different. One investment deal is great for one investor, but not the next. Here are some things that you can do to help steer yourself clear of any nightmares. Make sure that you have correct information regarding the property. Don't rely on the listing alone. Make phone calls, and better yet, make sure to go and visit the property in question. It may not look like the describe, description in the listing. One of the coolest things I learned early on is if you talk to the neighbors. People, neighbors are okay. I mean, people are fidget out there, but if you click on if you click on somebody's door, you knock on somebody's door and tell them, "Hey, I'm thinking about buying this house." They're going to tell you everything they know. Oh yeah, I remember they were over there, always having the plumber over there, or whatever it may be. Yeah, the did you know that house floods? What? You can learn so much by talking to your neighbor. Just be friendly and open and let them know that what your intentions are and, and they will open up the door of information to you. Be sure to walk their property and make sure that it's what you're looking for. Don't settle for less than you want. You know, you haven't gotten real estate this long. Why rush into it? Make sure you get the right deal at the right time for you. Don't, you know, you may be on the only, you will only end up disappointed. It's okay to have property with small repairs or upgrades to make for your first time. Stay away from the ones that require extensive work if this is your first one. They need structural damage. Maybe it's a fire burnout. There is a lot that goes into it for a flood or water damage or mold. I mean, be sure you know what you're doing when you get into it. You can always step into those properties later. There will always be damaged properties or properties with extensive work that needs to be done. Make sure that you have the means that you'll be paying for all the repairs um, and stuff that needs to be repaired or upgraded, or either be able to get a loan for the repair work. So that's where I caution you, don't over leverage yourself to buy a property that you think is a great deal when you don't know for sure how much it'll cost you. Because I can promise you, once you start peeling back the layers of sheetrock or whatever it may be, you're going to discover a lot more repairs than you typically expect. It never fails. You can't see everything from the surface. If you have to get a mortgage loan on a property, make sure that it is one that you can afford to pay back every month, even if you don't generate income, because you're never going to have this thing rented out 100% of the time. It will be down months, so you've got to account for that and be able to cover that or make sure the property cash flows enough through the other year to miss any monthly payment, what your occupancy rate is. All those factors need to be figured in and making sure that you're cash flowing throughout the year on a year-on-year -year basis 
and looking at everything as the costs that are built into it for you. Don't sign paperwork that you don't understand so you can rush and get your first piece of real property, right? There's so many people out there that will throw money at you, but you got to make sure what you're getting into. So ask questions, make sure you'll know how this will affect you down the road. If you don't, you can end up paying a lot more for the money than you would like. You know, there's hard money lenders out there that will make deals on whatever, but they, they will lend on certain properties. And sometimes their goal is to get that property from you in the future because they know you'll default. So caution, they want to help, but some of them don't. In regards to real estate investing, go over everything about the prospective property. Understand the taxes, the loan, and whatever else needs to be included. You want your first piece of real estate property to be something that you can be proud of. You want to be able to be comfortable in paying the mortgage on it every month until it's paid off. Those are some things to consider when you're looking at investing in real estate. We buy properties. We buy houses, Tulsa, and we want to help you get into the business. If you have a notion to get into real estate investing, then contact us. We have a, a program that you can jump in with us. We'll show you how to buy your first property and even partner with us. Depends on the situation, but give us a call. We'll have breakfast. We'll talk about what your goals are and get you on the right track. We want to give back to our community and those out there that are inspiring to be investors. Or if you have friends that need to sell their house fast, then get in contact with us, 918-212-5442. Remember, we buy houses Tulsa and we can help you sell yours fast. We're gonna continue this series. Uh, the next part of this book is real estate investing. Should you go full-time or part-time and when? Stay tuned for more on the next video. Have a great day.